I hope is for people that they come out of this movie full of joy and hope that they can make their own wishes come true no matter how hard it seems. Imagine a place where wishes come true. Where your heart's desire can become a reality. Comparing Wish with other movies you've made, such as Frozen, I would like to know what's different and special about Wish that makes it a unique movie. And I would say, obviously, this movie, the the genesis of it was to celebrate the 100th anniversary of Disney Animation. And uh, back in 2018, Jen Lee, our chief creative officer, noticed this. So we started to look at the Disney DNA, and that was the inspiration behind the movie. So words like hope and wishing, a joy and wishing on stars came to the forefront. And so that that Disney DNA was always there. It was a little bit of both. We went back to Snow White and Pinocchio and looked at those gorgeous backgrounds. There's the watercolor illustration. Mm -hmm. uh, it always felt like a storybook just opening up. And that's what we wanted to do. Have this movie, have that, but put it in the CG medium. Asha isn't considered a princess, right? But that doesn't take away her importance. How do you think the public can identify with this character? I would mm -hmm. hope that, you know, they would see in Asha these leadership qualities that I think everybody has, but they don't always believe it. And Asha does, she starts to believe it as the movie goes on. And she kind of steps into that leadership role sort of towards the end. What I love about Asha, she's us. You know, she lives in a what we would call sort of almost like the suburbs of a kingdom. She it gives tours. Um, she wants to be an apprentice. She's She is at that time in her life of doesn't really know where her life's going to go. We all go through that. So she really is that ordinary hero to me that I hope says what she can do you can do and and you know you don't need the magical star to be there for the star to be there and that's what's creating the spirit of hopefully she inspires people to feel that they can accomplish their wishes and dreams about the voice actors if we turned a live action in the future <laughs> do you think that chris pine and diana debose would be the ideal choices i mean for us when we were like casting for these characters they like the first time that we met them it, we knew it was them and we cannot see anyone else playing these characters to be quite honest you know ariana brought a lot of herself to Asha. Like when we built these movies, we're writing and recording at the same time. So the writers wrote with their voices in their heads. So to me, there's no yeah. Asha without Ariana. And Chris Pine, you know, he has that perfect charm and charisma that you need because King Magnifico, you have to believe that people will go and give their wish over to him. And yet he can also go dark and villainous as well. What is the main message you believe Wish will convey to the public? Well, in Wish, we believe in this um, idea that there's no greater power in the universe than someone with a true wish in their heart, right? And when we think about star and the UN, we're all made of stardust. That's scientifically true, done through research. <laughs> and we're like, stardust, magic. There's power within each in each one of us, and we shouldn't discount or forget that. That you know, in a time of hopelessness, mm -hmm. that's a, we want that to be a great reminder. What I hope the main message is is that dare to wish and dare to pursue that wish, and know there are helpers out there. We know it can be hard at times. You won't be alone, but uh, it can be scary. And yes, there will be bumps in the road, but that's okay. The film has a lot of references of the other films of Disney. So are there any hidden ones? <laughs> well, there are over yeah. a hundred uh, yeah. in there. There are some that I'm sure we don't even know because the artists have been putting them in all along yeah. the way. A we few. have to watch a hundred times. <laughs> yeah. On the biggest screen possible. Yeah. <laughs> Easier to see on the big screen, absolutely. <laughs> well, there's one I can say that, it, you know, I almost challenge people to find this one. <laughs> so what they did is, I, I was a supervising animator on Grandmother Willow in Pocahontas. And so the team decided to put Grandmother Willow, <laughs> and she's in one of the backgrounds in the forest scene. And I'm not going to tell you which scene it is. But she's pretty out in the, the open, but somehow it's hard to it's see her. It's yeah. hard to see her, but once you see her, you'll see her. And there are so many more. Qual foi sua referência favorita? Well, foram várias, né? A Cruella, para mim, foi uma das 
mais especiais, né? Que eu adoro a personagem, né? Eu trabalhei com o Magnífico no filme, né? Minha responsabilidade no filme foi supervisionar o, o vilão, uhum. né? Então, Cruella foi um dos personagens, assim, que eu gravitacionei a mais próximo, assim, né? Mas, no final das contas, né? O personagem tinha que ser ele mesmo, né? Não podia ser uma cópia de um personagem que a gente já tinha feito, né? Então, tudo foi, assim, uma inspiração e uma referência, mas no final, no filme mesmo, né? O personagem é, um, é ele mesmo, né? As, as atitudes dele, os, os maneirismos, o jeito que ele anda, é tudo feito especificamente para aquele personagem, né? Ele é um clássico maléfico. Hum, né? Isso, com certeza. If you could define wish in one word that is not wish, what would be? Joy. Hope. Yeah, hope. You too? Yes, because that's what the takeaway I, I hope is for people, that they come out of this movie full of joy and hope, that they can make their own wishes come true no matter how hard it seems. I started this. I have to finish it. What are you hiding? Oh, nothing. And nobody. What is going on in there? Okay, ladies. Your wings can't fly, but your voices can. <laughs>